Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see the Spark OS on the Poco X2. So guys, let's begin. So here is the Spark OS based on Android version 12 and uh, the December security patch level we get to see here the Spark OS version here is official one the maintainer here is Redcliffe this is the settings page just the usual design of the Android 12 going to the home screen here also just the usual design the quick settings design has been a bit updated as you can see now up here we get to see the date and time which is really looking great and also the toggles are a bit more handed as you can see so yes yeah, this design here is just looking great and all everything here is all the features of the android 12 are available on this rom so this is a full stock android 12 rom available with a few customizations here we get to see the customizations the fireworks which i'll show you later in the video first of all looking in the system gestures and everything here also everything is just the same we get to see the live translate which is also working fine the gestures everything the system navigation gestures and as you can see we can customize the nav bar length and this is the one-handed mode this is how it looks the new one-handed mode on the android 12 which is also working great the three finger swipe for the screenshot option here is available as you can see here is available the we get to see the option capture more and we can just stretch and capture it so the long screenshot option here is available so no issue talking about the security here the fingerprint scanner here is working perfectly fine and as you saw that unlocking animation here just looks very cool as you can see this i just love this one unlocking animation we get to see the pixel imprint the face unlock here is not available it's still not available for the pixel users so the face unlock here is just not available then talking about the android 12 privacy features here are all the features available here is privacy dashboard here we get to see the apps which are using the camera as you can see these are all the apps which use the camera the snapchat google pay instagram and everything the these are all the apps which use the camera in last 24 hours the microphone which app use the microphone then the call logs contacts and everything so these are the this is the privacy dashboard and you can take a look at it so which just feels a great feature then we get to see the permission manager camera access like, like if you want to turn off the camera access then the camera will just not work and we can turn off the microphone access also so these are just great features available and these are both are the toggles available but whenever you are receiving a call you have to turn on the mic access every time then talking about the display here everything here is just the same nothing is new we get to see the display cutout which is of no use we get to see device specific settings the pill style notch minimum refresh rate battery server refresh rate and everything all the features are just available all the useful features going to the battery here the battery usage here is the usage this is for the screen on time this is which is four and three minutes from last 24 hours this is the last 24 hours usage but here is the option available delete your battery stats and when you click ok it just don't get reset so there is an option available but it's not working i feel that option was great but it should work in next update so talking about the battery life here so the battery drain from 100 percent to 11 percent i got 4 and 47 minutes of screen on time so to charge from 24 percent to 100 percent it took one and one minutes so yeah these are the battery stats the battery usage you will get average battery backup on this rom then talking about the customization the spark os customization which are the fireworks these are all the options the themes the animation style animation duration icons and everything the engine the color theme i body font so these are all the theming options available then going to the lock screen these are the options 
the always on display schedule smart space and everything display conditional info such as weather and events on lock screen then lock screen charging info charging animation and everything so these were the features for the lock screen going to the status bar we get to see just the same customizations the padding and battery icon style and everything nothing is new going to the gestures we get to see double tap to wake double tap to sleep which is working the volume rocker wave music control and everything so we get to see all the essential features available going to the miscellaneous we get to see the vibrate on connect and stuff the notification light which is working the battery light which is also working going to the power menu these are the options available so that is it for the customizations here these were the only customizations nothing is new going to the home screen this is the themed icons available but the themed icons here are just not available in wallpaper and styles you can see there is there are no theming options available here so to turn on the theming options we have to go to home settings this is the launcher launcher available so yes going to the general and we can turn on and off the themed icons from here talking about the quick settings here i already showed you the redesign of the quick settings which is looking just great the extra dim option here is also now available which is great and we can set the intensity from these settings then talking about the another feature which is available in the auto rotate like we can enable face detection for the auto rotate which is also surprisingly working great talking about the camera this is the default camera this feels like google camera go version which is working as you can see these are only the options available this is the newer gcam go version i think i don't know what this thing is let's just go into the about phone as you can see this is the graphene os camera available here this is the this was the default camera available in this room the google camera here is working perfectly fine 8.0 the arnova g cam so i just prefer to use that then talking about the performance of this room the geekbench scores these are the scores 512 and 1430 so the scores are compared to bit less these are the scores from the dogfest room 532 and 1688 compared to the that android 12 room the scores are bit less but yeah the performance on this room here is just great at 120 hertz the room is fluid and smooth and everything just works flawlessly talking about the safety net status the safety net status has passed and all the banking apps are just running fine <laughs> talking about the drm info we get to see the widevine l1 security level so that yeah, that's great okay then talking about the bugs there are as such no major bugs present here in this room you can easily use this room as a daily driver there are no major bugs everything here seems to works fine so yeah that is it you can absolutely use this room as a daily driver so that is it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below or in the telegram group i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and bye